like to say something in Moon Valley. Something new. And Ami Janina. Ami to Maki Balobashi and Rani. Ah, mother chop. <laughs> <laughs>
the actor. I know it's the time, well, obviously. And I, exactly. It's, it's the time, but at that same time, uh, they didn't end that way, the way they began. So True, but let, let's, let's just as a point of reference for that. So it's like, for example, uh, A Streetcar Named Desire was nine years preceding this, mm -hmm. right? In American cinema. Yeah. But this film, and I'm learning this, the more we watch Indian film and the more we're watching regional film, I'm recognizing that when we go into the older films, we said this with the last film that we watched, which mm -hmm. was uh, 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 the Masoon. Masoon. How once you get back to a certain range, you cannot and shouldn't compare what's going on in Indian cinema with anywhere else in the world because they're evolving within themselves oh, at that yeah, point. But it wasn't everybody. No, and here's the thing. So much of what was going, even the makeup. So if you were today to measure the makeup in this film, you go, it was terrible. Mm -hmm. But if you recognize that the makeup was done like theater actors mm. and it was just captured on film and it looked terrible on film, but for theater, it's absolutely applicable. Yeah. Same thing with the stylization <laughs> of what's going on. And I'm reading this acting book that Pankaj had, Dost, had <laughs> asked us to read. Um, I, I've, I've recognized that especially in older Indian cinema and Bengali cinema in particular, there are certain tropes that are stage that American cinema was done with but was still being celebrated because it was part of the heritage of the time and you can't measure it based on what was going on in American cinema at the time. You have to measure it based on what was going on in Indian cinema. And I, I believe it was a celebration of that at the outset, which is why I wrote in my paragraph, it's extremely rare and I know it's something, it's kind of the Devdas thing where you're taking a stylization of something to convey a reality. And I know for you, it doesn't it, float it's your boat. It never worked. Yeah, it doesn't work for you. Or, or it, it, it works for me. It, it never works. Yeah. Uh, but it, it wasn't the whole time. It was mostly the, the father who I did not enjoy for the most part the entire time. Uh, and then the mother at, at points uh, as well. But almost every other person, I mean, the brother sometimes got there, but I think he, he definitely improved tremendously if you're measuring it by realism th th yes throughout the film i thought she did a phenomenal job the main girl uh she did but the the main thing of this is the story of yeah. this that that i think i'm hoping punch a lot of people in india in the face uh in terms of especially at that time in and terms of, of punch the british in the face yeah right um <laughs> but at the time of of um what was going on with the partition and this was partition of bengal uh and then also, the partition of India mm -hmm. as well. On the, pocket, yeah, the west side. At the west side. Um, but the whole story of... And it, it, even if you take that out of it, a story of somebody who just right. gives, 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 sure. and just everyone takes from you, sure. and you don't take any time for yourself, Absolutely. or don't take anything for yourself. Yeah. That, that's a human story. There's many humans Absolutely. that just have, have just... That's their natural instinct, is to just give, 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 and they're always their last mothers often fall into that is that they just yeah. they often just give of themselves over and over and over and they don't get anything in return and they don't take time to take care of themselves mm -hmm. just that story alone would have been good enough obviously there's a lot more layers onto this film than just that but I, I thought it was a brilliant story especially for 1960 yeah the feminism of her being the primary breadwinner and mm -hmm. being a strong woman was way ahead of the the, the time back then and for me, the, the, the symbolism, and I've done a little bit of reading up on it, not a lot at all, but the, the very fact that it's called the cloud cap star, it's interesting because he's both a pessimistic creator, uh, very dark, but I wonder, he definitely doesn't have a thread through him, a huge difference between directing styles. So Satyajit Rai would be our other comparison, Bengali, right? Mm -hmm. And he is definitively shaped by Western cinema. And uh, my understanding is that he is, he is not. He is, he is far more Eastern in terms of his, um, they're both definitively Eastern artists, but as far as the framework with which he creates his, his cinema. And this metaphor of the cloud cap star, it's really interesting. I, I felt that the title itself, as well as this family, were a metaphor for Bengal mm -hmm. in that the, the, the cloud being the circumstances beyond the control that has put a damper on the, the shine that was formerly this beautiful, wonderful place. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting about that perspective is that it's a transient perspective rooted in just the here and now. Mm -hmm. Because a, a stars are beyond the clouds and a cloud's going to pass. But he doesn't give you the sense the cloud's going to pass. He yeah. gives you the sense of we've been screwed and we're going to stay screwed and we're all going to die. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and and the sense of the brokenness. Yet, it, and I felt like the family itself almost represented different aspects of Bengal. Like <clears throat> she would represent the heart, and the father would represent the mind, and the brother would represent the artistry, and mm -hmm. the the mom would represent the emotions of the, the anger. And it would, I don't know if he intended it that way, mm -hmm. but I know that partition is a huge framer yeah. for his creativity. And I, apart from that, I don't know that I've ever seen more beautifully created darkness. Mm -hmm. uh, his use of light and framing of shots. There's, and there's one moment where she's. She's, she's talking about how much she loves the sunset, mm -hmm. but he shot it. I mean, she's talking about the sunrise. Yeah. And he framed it with the sunset behind her. So, so even in the midst of her optimism, he's still painting the stark contrast of, yeah, you may be believing in a sunrise, but what you're not really looking at is the fact that this is sunset. Yeah. And, and he's just auditory at the visuals and the sound. Did you notice the moment... The guy is singing the Bengali folk song outside. Which was, yeah, all the songs. All the music is gorgeous, right? Yeah. And then he's got, he's on this haunting song and all of the singers were gorgeous. But then he does something that in today's standards is just not a big deal. But back then, you hear the song and then he goes from the exterior shot to the interior shot. And it's this really pretty shot of the husband, the father, and the mother. Mm -hmm. And he's taken the audio down and he's carried the audio from yeah. the exterior yeah, I remember that one, yeah. to the interior. And I'm, he, he just slowly started to fade it. And I thought, that's rare. It's not a hard cut. It's an actual fade out. But he didn't fade it out. He left it in the second frame as ambient noise. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't happen a lot yeah. in, in black and white films. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This was, and I don't know if it was in a testament just to how it was shot or if the, the restoration they did with the Blu-ray because they, right. they somebody restored this. Uh, it says this. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. So, so what is that word? The Criterion. Yeah, so Criterion I, collection. I don't know if they are the ones that restored it, but it was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. and the quality was flawless. So crisp for something that came out in 1960. There's this one shot where it's the dad and the mom and the brother and the sisters. It's inside, but the brother's outside, and it's dark above the heads. And everybody is perfectly spaced. Um, he doesn't have the optimism of Asanji Lila Bansali at all, but mm -hmm. the technical beauty, yeah, I absolutely. found myself often pausing it and going, look at that shot. Yeah, it was a bunch of absolutely <laughs> gorgeous shots. And and another on the on the on the writing, um, mm. I think obviously the, the family was very well written because I you could hate every single one of those people at very different times. Yeah, for different uh, reasons. For different reasons. Yeah, and I feel like the brother had a beautiful arc because at the beginning you're like, bro, get a job, you moocher. Mm -hmm. Like why? Even though I still kind of feel that way, I feel like you can have a job and also pursue what you need to do. Sure, right, exactly. So you don't, you know, strain your family. Yeah, but especially kind of, the sister with the degree. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but, but obviously you 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 feel for him because obviously she believes in him and she right. wants. She was like, no. I want you to do this because I want you're you're what I'm clinging my hope to, which you shouldn't do. But mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. live for yourself. But it's a beautiful story of that you know she wa she wanted to give up everything of herself to help him and help the the dick who decided to marry her sister. Right, absolute asshole. Yeah, <laughs> like what the <laughs> that guy? Oh, he made me mad. Um, but yeah, the the whole the family. It's the the mom was. She seemed like she hated her children, yeah, <laughs> almost. Then obviously the, the the boyfriend and then the sister was just a dick, uh, and then obviously the brother who grew on you the most. I feel because mm. you kind of understood after a while. At the beginning, you're just like he's a mooch. Why does he keep asking people yeah. for money? Yeah, and then he ends up obviously making it big and and wanting to come back and kind of pay to pay her back for for all that helped out. And then she ended up getting. TB, yeah. which obviously at that time was very common. Yeah, and it's interesting. If I if I use, and I, again, I don't know that he intended it, but using that parallel of the family being different aspects of 
the Bengali during the time of partition mm -hmm. and how I don't think the mom was necessarily angry with her family as much as her anger was directed at her family. I think her anger was at her circumstances, which would make sense with the Bengali mind during partition. Well, that, she said that a bunch of times, but you know, you're still being a dick. But yeah, exactly. You're still, <laughs> you're like, you're still, but, but understandably angry about circumstances beyond oh, yeah. your control that you wish, you wish could change. And then the brother, if he's representing the artistry, it's a time where, for example, someone like Asajit Rai is being recognized internationally, which is really the first time that Bengali cinema is recognized on the international stage, and he's actually going to Mumbai and getting recognized there, but not seeing much of a change happen. The art being heralded, but the actual circumstances of the people not being yeah. changed. And that was where the difference, and it was Indrani who pointed that out to me. Did she, you watch it with her? Yeah, yeah. And she had seen it when she was a little girl mm -hmm. and revisited it with me, which was beautiful to to watch it with her um but the the whole um uh, thing about what she was the one who brought up the difference between him and our and charlie chaplin mm -hmm. and as she did it we kind of finished our own sentences where where i had said yeah where charlie is this civil rights advocate who really felt like pr presenting these these circumstances could create a change i don't feel that i feel like he was presenting like a poet does, mm -hmm. just, uh, I can't believe this has happened and it isn't gonna change. Yeah. And I think that's what the cloud cap star was. It's that pessimism of, you know, the, 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 the cloud is transient, the star isn't. Yeah. But still, it's dimming, the circumstance is dimming the star. And as long as that cloud's there, yeah, I think it had a bunch of meetings. I think it had something to do with Huge. obviously the partition. Obviously. Very deep. And just the very basic, just her being by her family. Uh, obviously is as, as well because mm -hmm. you know she was the star but she kind of gave everything up and had to take care of her yeah, family. Yeah, she embodies the, the title yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So I think there was a lot to really like about it. Like I said, my, my, my main issues would probably just be some of the acting in terms of the father especially. Yeah, see that black for me uh, like with Deb Doss. I don't, I don't mind. It was just him. Like the other people weren't like that. <laughs> That's well, she was. There were many, many moments. There were many moments from her as well as her love interest that were strictly the only justification for what were being done was it's gonna look good on camera. Yeah. Many times where he's she, talking to her and, and she's she here. Yeah, right and there. she just would do this. And then save her line. Well, you know, that is solely I'm, because it looks so Yeah, nice. but I'm fine with that trope as opposed to the over the top Shtick. Yeah, I don't. That, that's that's what I don't like. That only would bother me. You know who it reminded me of, and none mm -hmm. of you would understand what this would mean. Uh, it reminded me of in uh, the Miracle Worker. Mm. Oh crap! Who played the Colonel? Was it Nathan? No, Nathan played the son. But anyway, he had very similar kind of like uh, over the top cliched. I don't remember. Anyway, it reminded me of that. The only reason it didn't bother me is because I was putting myself into 1960 Bengal theater actors and cinema and the use of something. It would be like watching Kabuki theater put into film. It's not realism, but it is part of the history of theater at the time. And yes, it's nine years after Streetcar. So again, I'm not gonna blame it for not being at the place of streetcar when it is its own entity evolving. Well, I think it needs to be measured according to I its know own I culture. I am. I'm just. I'm comparing them to the other cast. <laughs> yeah, many of them were more grounded. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was, that was why, like, if all of them were that way, I could be like, okay, whatever, cool. But like, there was just a few standouts and who weren't always that way. But the father was, I'd say, 95% of the time that yeah. way. And so I don't know why that was. Maybe that's what the father figure in that time was portrayed as, which is strange to me. Yeah. But like the film, other than that, a very, very heartbreaking uh, film. Um, so And high level cinema, just yeah. high level artistry. In, in, yeah, in, in, in every aspect. Uh, so that was great. Let us know uh, what's the next uh, Bengali film uh, after Classic Month, uh, and what's the next classic we should watch. And, and Rithwick. Rithwick, 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 Rithwick. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm trusting, uh, I, I, I may have misheard as well that it's Rithik Gothic. Uh, Rithik. I want to see everything he's made. 
I think he For sure. only had like 10 films. I want to see him. Yeah, because I think he died really early. He did. He died young. He he died. My, he was my age when he died mm -hmm. in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. Yep. He, he was an alcoholic. He drank himself to death. Yeah, that's the way to go. And <laughs> <laughs> let us know what's the next film we should watch down below. <laughs> Thank you.